the Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI, has bestowed a popular Turkish name associated with power upon its fifth-generation fighter aircraft. The KAAN Fighter Jet, or TFX, with the project name Mili Muharip Yukak, National Combat Aircraft, is a new fifth-generation fighter aircraft being developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI. It is expected to become operational in the early 2030s and now has been given a more appropriate designation, Khan. The application of the name Khan to this aircraft took place on May 1st during a grand ceremony held at TAI facilities in the capital city of Ankara. The event included flyovers by Air Force aircraft, a large audience, and the participation of Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Khan is a highly popular male name in Turkey and Central Asia, with multiple meanings, all of which symbolize strength. King of all kings, the sovereign, and the mighty warrior of earth and sky are among its various interpretations. In the Turkish language, it also literally means Khan, ruler, originating from the ancient title of the Mongol Empire established by Genghis Khan. During his speech, Erdogan discussed national issues and the evolution of Turkey's military capabilities in recent years. He delved into the didactic and detailed characteristics of Khan. Imagine an aircraft that can enter enemy territory without being detected. It will silently return to its base when it arrives. This aircraft will be manufactured by our own country's engineers, and our pilots will fly it. Khan will be equipped with its own radar and mission computer. In a few years, we will complete all the testing and deliver it to our inventory. We will be one of the five countries in the world producing this type of fifth-generation fighter aircraft, said Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The newly developed Turkish fighter aircraft is currently undergoing testing in preparation for its maiden flight. As previously mentioned by Erdogan, the chosen date for the first flight of the Khan is October 29, 2023, coinciding with the celebration of the 100th anniversary of the Republic of Turkey. The TFX program has been under development for approximately a decade by the Turkish government aiming to achieve greater self-reliance from foreign suppliers. Situated between Europe and Asia, the country has maintained unpredictable relations with the West, its neighbors in the Middle East, as well as nuclear powers Russia and China. Initially, the Turkish Air Force was expected to receive F-35 fighter jets, but due to Turkey's purchase of the Russian S. 400 surface-to-air missiles, former U.S. President Donald Trump withdrew Turkey from the Joint Strike Fighter program. Without the opportunity to operate the fifth-generation Lockheed Martin jets, the TAI-TFX, now known as Khan, is poised to fill the country's stealth interceptor gap. This new fighter aircraft is also expected to replace over 200 F-16 fighter jets in Turkey's fleet over the next decade. Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI, has scheduled the introduction of the Khan into service in Turkey by mid-2029. Although the Turkish Air Force is participating in the project, they have not yet officially placed orders for the aircraft. Initial data from TAI indicates that the Khan will have a maximum takeoff weight of 27,200 kg a length of 19 meters, a wingspan of 12 meters, and a maximum speed of Mach 2, 2,470 kilometers per hour. This fighter aircraft will be powered by two General Electric GE F-110 engines produced under license in Turkey by Tusa Engine Industries TEI. A version of these engines is also used, for example, on F-15 and F. 16 fighter jets. Eventually, the aircraft is expected to receive domestic engines based on the Eurojet EJ-200, 
Engines based on the Rolls-Royce XG40 used in the Eurofighter Typhoon. The Khan's christening event is one of several recent achievements in the Turkish aerospace industry. Last week, TAI completed the maiden flight of the Herjet, the first supersonic jet made in Turkey. Additionally, in April, the prototype of the TAI T929 ATAK-2 attack helicopter took flight. Alongside advancements in manned military aircraft, Turkey is also renowned in the drone segment. Another Turkish company, Baykar Technology, gained fame with its Bayraktar series drones, which were used by Ukraine in the war against Russia. The manufacturer is still working on the Kizilelma, a stealth drone.